for watching Power App Solutions in Minutes. In this video, we're going to take a um, Azure function that we deployed to Azure in our second lesson on Azure Functions. And now in this third lesson, we're, we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect to Azure uh, Storage or Web Job Storage. And so I just want to tell you a little bit about some of the code changes I had to make to accomplish this. So what we're doing here is we're instantiating a queue and uh, type out queue. And then uh, we're pointing it to the standard Azure Web Job Storage queue uh, or storage uh, account. And then um, we have some validation logic just checking to see if our message is um, set up the way that we want it to be. And then in the return, what we'll do is we have an action result that when this is successful, it'll say hello and then whatever value pass into the name. Um, the, the other option is if we don't pass in the proper parameter, then we have a custom message here. Please pass the name on the query string or in the request body. So let's get to work. Um, should be quick. Uh, what we're going to do here is first we want to go ahead and build this function out. So let's just run this. You can either hit control shift B or just run a build task. So here's our function. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up what's called Microsoft Azure uh, Storage Explorer. It's an application. And we're going to add an account. It's a storage account. But first we'll add our subscription, right? So I'm just going to sign in real quick. All right. Well, good's there. All right. Now next thing I'm gonna do make sure that I have my subscription there's my subscription alright now I want to add another account here and the account I want to add is a storage account and I'm gonna use a connection string now where do you get this connection string from simple you go to your local settings.json you grab this from the website content Azure file connection string Copy this, hit next, pop this in here, and we'll just give this a dynamic tuber Azure storage. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and connect. And the elegant thing about this is that when you do this, um, we don't have to worry about um any of the components within uh, our actual code so we can leave this code the way it is right now in terms of the storage account that we're pointing at you would suspect that we would actually change it here to be connect to the endpoint but because we're calling azure locally from our machine and then executing the code here um then that's why we have to um, just leave this as the way that it is. So what we're going to do is go ahead and um, hit Control F5. We have to be in that debugging mode first. And then we're going to go ahead and execute our function. And let's see if we can send a successful message to the queue. So we'll just send in the default. And we have a response back. Hello, Azure. So let's take a peek inside of our queue. And here it is. This just happened. All right, let's try another one. So name pass to the function is Azure. Now this is all inside of the Azure cloud. So we have an integration going on here. We have an insertion time, an expiration time, the size of the message, and so on. Uh, let's go ahead and take a stab with another one here. Pass in my name. And it says, hello, Alex Ontiveros. We refresh our queue, and here it is. Here's our message, and it's in Azure. 
And as you can imagine, there's probably so many different ways that you can leverage this Q concept for large integrations to basically take a variety of messages and store them as long as you need them and then get rid of them. And then of course have that overhead that would normally happen in Dynamics um, or Power Apps integrations with other third-party solutions, but instead they use Azure as a buffer. Uh, and I like to do that when whenever I do integrations is try to take advantage of the Azure cloud to um, take that load off of um, you know the CRM or the ERP as much as possible just kind of try to let a lot of the processing happening here uh, so that's all we got for today um, thank you so much for watching